So hi dear Scorpio, a very very good evening to you guys. This is Anjali Charo and this is a journal of reading for all the Scorpio Sun Moon Venus rising. Keep in mind this is general. It might or might not resonate with you at the first place. The second thing, this is a reading from today till the 10th of Feb and it's valid for every 12th sign that you're dealing with along with your own sign. Okay, if it is not resonating then it's not uh, like your story honey. And if you want to be a professional tarot card reader like me, you can start your journey by purchasing the course. The link is in the description box for the same. It's in simple English language with lifetime access and certification. If you want to start your self-love journey but don't know from where to start, you can definitely start by purchasing my ebook and workbook. Again, it's super easy to understand, loaded with a lot of information and it's super cheap too. So let's start Scorpio. This is for singles only. I hope I told you guys. The current energies uh, of Scorpio regarding love and relationship are, uh, let's see. We have the world card, the wheel of fortune and the seven of cups. Bottom of the deck is the five of cups. You are coming out of a very deep, uh, like sad, deep rooted, sad, uh, like uh, not so happy, not so good kind of energy. You are coming out of a very painful kind of energy, upsetting kind of energy. Something or someone broke your heart to the to the, the to that level of you isolating yourself from everything and everyone and you losing all your hope on love and relationship. Now, slowly but surely, the wheel is turning in your favor. You are opening up to new people, new connection, new things. You are trying your best to move forward in your life and believing in destiny again, believing in universe again, believing in God again, believing in love and relationship again, but not 100% believing till now. It's like slowly but surely you are trying to believe in love and good things and good people and good connections and good kind of energies. You are trying your best to put an end to uh, put an end to a cycle and moving forward and like going out and trying to date, trying to connect with people as much as you can. Not like crazy, but yes, start starting opening up with new people, new situations slowly but surely. Let's see who's coming towards you by the tenth of Feb, Scorpio. We have the seven of pentacles, the page of swords and the seven of wands. Somebody is waiting for you like crazy. Somebody is like watching you from a distance and this is someone whom you blocked or they blocked you. There is a sense of blockage here. There is a huge, huge ass blockage here in the situation. Whether it's a physical blo blockage or mental blockage or emotional blockage. But uh, somebody is waiting for... Uh, Waiting very desperately for something, some for some kind of blockages to be removed in order to connect with you again. Obviously, this is not a new person. This is somebody whom you already know. This is somebody who is not able to sleep at night thinking about all the all the pros, uh, like all the problems, all the uh, stupid things going on in the situation. This is someone who is depressed beyond words. They can't sleep at night thinking about the whole scenario between you and them, and it is it is creating a lot of lot of tension between you guys. Like. Um, both of you can feel the tension because of this situation. But this is someone who is watching you from a distance at the same time holding back this urge of doing anything about it. It's, it's like making them very anxious and depressed and they are not able to sleep at night. But at the same time they can't stop watching you. This is somebody who is kind of stalking you online right now. Hmm. So this is the kind of energy that's going to be there for you guys till the 10th of Feb. I don't, de I don't see a new person, new energy coming in. Even if it is coming in, I don't see it sticking around kind of thing. Because you're open to new people, new energies. So there might be chances of energies coming in, new people, new energies. But sticking around is not happening. Okay, let's see the guidance here. Nine of Cups, Four of Wands, Two of Swords. Okay, uh, you should understand the true meaning of happiness and stability for yourself. What is the true meaning of happiness in love and relationship for you guys? Is it marriage, commitment, long-term partnership or is it just going with the flow and seeing where things can go in a particular direction or it is just having fun? Right now, your idea of happiness and stability are uh, like uh, not clear in your mind. Obviously, it is not for everyone out there. But right now you might be thinking like, okay, having good time with someone is like, uh, it's, it's fine for me. For some of you, you just want to settle down and you want to be in a solid committed relationship. For others of you, you don't even know what you want. You just want to go ahead and uh, go with the flow and see where things can go. So understand the definition of happiness and stability for yourself. What is the meaning of true love? What is the ma meaning of happiness in love and relationship? What is the ma meaning of true connection for you guys? Uh, 
get your act together get your shit together understand what the what is the meaning of these things for you and then move forward okay accordingly because uh, you might uh, feel like okay i should be just uh, dating casually and the other person might be getting serious or the vice versa and it's going to create a lot of chaos and mental stress afterwards so it's better to be uh, like clear in what you are looking for in a partner in a relationship in a loving uh, like love and relationship kind of area otherwise it's going to uh, like create a lot of chaos and a lot of conflict afterwards in your life right so thank you so much for tuning in uh, scorpio i'll see you soon in the next video bye bye take care god bless you namaste